Umonyale, TK, Umonyale, you're boring me. All you ever do is trend on t- TikTok with your cute little videos, you know, and that's oh the. And it's just like, guy, marry her. We're bored. It's not cute watching you guys as they <laughs> marry the girl. Monale. Oh, Lord. At the time, somebody asked, and they now, man. So, <laughs> Google that. <laughs> I hope you get married. I hope you get babies. But are you having enough sex to, to make, you know? I really am. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a recipe for your booty? Mm. So the topic right now And the subject now Is your booty Let's just talk Because when I put the flyer <laughs> The brothers in my DMs Couldn't breathe <laughs> Is there a recipe? Because <laughs> that booty <laughs> He's an amazing host And host And he's going to have Many more amazing people On his show And I just hope that you guys Grow with him on his journey And you know We never know how big This is going to get So yeah. let's just see Where you take this t- 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 Take this Juice tube And oh 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 Alright oh. B-Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. Good morning and welcome to the Juice 2.0. Your favorite show, I mean, by now. By now, I mean, by now. By now? Come on, by now. Your favorite show. Now, on the count of three, Juicy. One, two, three. Juicy. Today's guest is a broadcaster. Today's guest is a radio presenter. Today's guest does TV as well. Today's guest will not be asked about sexual questions. Might I add, put a disclaimer. <laughs> Today's guest is a titan in the industry, the music, no, 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 the entertainment industry and the broadcasting industry, the media industry. But I'll introduce her properly before we get there. How about we read your comments because we appreciate you so much on the Juice 2.0 for what you're doing, the subscriptions. And whenever you drop your comments, we definitely want to let you know that we see you doing your thing and we appreciate your bottom of our hearts deep down somewhere in my bones and velvet skin to start with cream bw what's going on how you doing thank you so much for commenting on the Nkwane family video you said authenticity authenticity indeed we are more than we are more than blessed to have you in our lives family all right that beautiful family that we had a great time chatting with and chatting to last weekend and pluto pule what's going on thank you very much for dropping that you said i was smiling throughout the entire interview love emoji i love this family oh man we love them too we love them too Assy, mrs t thank you very much for commenting as well and i see you thank you so much bottom of my heart you said momo is a whole mood is a whole mood she just makes me happy and then moving right along i have a patience my jassy what's going on Patience, what's happening? Patience, patience. You simply said, I love this family so much with a lot of heart emojis. And then we move it along to Prince Lamar. What's going on, Prince Lamar? That's a beautiful name, by the way, Prince Lamar. I will trade it, but yeah, it's too late. I will, I'm cool with TK for now. But Prince Lamar, you said, love them. Good, positive vibes. And then Queen Kim <laughs> Kim. Kim. <laughs> Please. Just the name part. Help a brother. It says Kitswenye Yes. Kitswenye There we go. You see the reading and the pronunciation. Kitswenye Yeah. All right. You simply said, I really enjoyed watching this. I love this family so much. And then Makati for Roma. Oh, that's my cousin right there. You said, the growth is real. Thank you very much. And indeed, the growth on the Juice 2.0, super real. And then Lena, this is last but not least, right? Lena, you said, loved the interview. Lovely family. It's a beautiful thing that you would comment on all the videos on our YouTube channel, The Juice 2 If you haven't subscribed, <laughs> come on. Come on. Get us there. Get us there. Get us there. All right, without further ado, you already know who is in the building. She's amazing. She's my sister. She's a broadcaster of note, man. I'm like, at some point, 2015, 2016, she definitely got the job that I wanted. She did the uh, Yarana FM Orange Carpet. And I was like, <laughs> this girl. Put your hands together and help me welcome. Riachile <laughs> Kopi. 
Hello. 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 Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. Oh my goodness. I know, right? Oh my goodness. You, you know when you're being interviewed by someone you like no no it's like oh. It's like what what's oh, going to go? <laughs> I might get too comfortable. Yeah, you should though. Mm. And then give us all the juice. No. <laughs> Welcome to the Juice 2.0, Mark. Huh? Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. So proud of the work you're doing. I wrote on my um, Instagram story that, you know, you talked about being wanted to be on radio with me. Yeah, yeah. Then you got on the ra- so on much. radio. Yeah. yeah. And then you got on radio. Then you talked about this, that you have the videos. The videos, And yeah. you're persistent. And now look at you doing it. So I'm very excited for I you. Wish, I wish I was persistent about a lot of other things in my life. <laughs> the, the way I have been on radio. You know, with, with okay. saying one thing, one thing, and then actually doing it. Yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend has a lot of other things to say. It's like, nah, that guy is not I the most. That's, he's not the most persistent guy. <laughs> but I'm so happy, man. We should have had that show. Yeah. You and I. We we will. I think we will. You're you're still here, so you yeah. can talk to them. I I need to speak to them. Yes. But how are you? Talk to me about I'm how good. you are, man. I'm good. I'm in a good space. Yeah. Yeah. Am I in the like the right camera thing? <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> You're in the right space Yes I'm you're, happy You're still working Yes Your life story is beautiful By the way mm-hmm. And I think A lot of people Would attest to this Like When it started You were how old? Were you 12? Ah uh, no Like 10 10? Yeah I remember my 10th birthday It was the biggest party ever <laughs> 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 All the monthly presenters Were there So like Right Yeah How did you even get that job? How did you even get that gig? Uh, okay, so I saw the audition video advert on a Friday yeah. And the, yeah. the, the auditions were on Saturday Right And I was like, yeah, no, I'm going Mind you, to be honest I wasn't a person who was watching one trending all the time It was here and there <laughs> I was always outside playing Nikki okay? Right, right, right Yeah, I was right. not on TV like kids of now so um so yeah and then i saw that and then saturday i went for the auditions and i knew i was going to get it as i walked in i just knew it oh i just have this thing i always know what i'm gonna get and i don't really know what i'm not gonna get but i know what i'm gonna get are you serious yeah so for everything else that happened afterwards even up to not now everything else okay there are just certain moments that i knew like the job I have now, yeah. I knew when yeah. they called for the interview that I got it. Yeah. Do you know that? Know it do you know that about male species that want to be with you? Do you know if that's? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, let's go back to this. <laughs> that kind of intuition is great, man. Does it work for every other? <laughs> like, let's talk about. Let's talk about like maybe you're trying to step in an office for a job interview, right? Do you know if you're gonna bag it or not? <laughs> Oh gosh! Look, I I I know sometimes it's not all the time. I don't know what it is about yeah. those particular times where I just know. Yeah. It's like um, JMC. I ah, knew I was going to get it, dude. Yeah, that was big. and I went for top billing auditions, but I I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it. it just I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. At which times it works Right, right yeah. So then from there 10 years old What else happened to After that That you would say Was your biggest thing Because that was a big start It was a big jump I think Yeah and, But it's when I love you We love you And it's just like Oh man Ria, Ria, yeah. Ria, Ria, Ria You know what I mean <laughs> So from there, take me to the next step. What else was big after that? So because we're Montenegrin hosts, we then got an opportunity to host the My African Dream Talent Search, which yeah. was live. Yeah. So that was a very big deal at 11 years old. Right. And that was my first time hosting live on TV and with an audience. And there was this time I said, get around! And that was like a big mistake. <laughs> and I'm sure they were just like, yeah, but now English you know? And I'm not even like that, but you know, nerves get to you. So, and that's why even now when I make mistakes on stage or whatever, it's like, yeah, yeah it moving is. Moving right along. Moving right along. <laughs> so, my African dream, what, is it, what does it feel like your story is similar to Marang's story? Oh, yeah. For yeah. sure. I think her and I only then branched out because she got into acting and, and like film and all of that. Oh, yeah. And I continued with presenting voiceovers, MC, and now only my production company. So We'll talk so much about that. Yeah. 819 is your time <laughs> on the Juice 2 Bueno. Ria Hile is in the building. My sister's in the building. One of those good days, possibly co-host on the Juice 2 Bueno. That'd be dope. <laughs> More of her right after this. City B-Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. We're back with one of the best broadcasters I know, media personality, radio, TV. 
Riachile is in the building. And when I was making the fly, you're like, hey, don't say Ria. I want Riachile. What was that about? Yes, I've evolved. Huh? I have evolved, okay. you know, from Riau Man Planning uh-huh. to Riau Kopi uh-huh. to Riachile Kopi. Um, I just like to let you know, TK, yeah. uh-huh. that um, according to Bika, I am an accountant <laughs> technician licensed. <laughs> I have an actual degree. I'm actually smart. <laughs> I went to school and finished it. <laughs> or at a dealer, dog. <laughs> when did you finish school, dude? Total oh, right. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> so, so, I, and I'm now in the space of, you know, really wanting to use my degree. I have an actual nine to five job as a finance officer at one Dope. of the unions. Dope. So, one I of the unions. Advance. Yeah, I, I, I work with your union. I see you. Are you serious? Yeah. The mother company, I think. The mother union. Yeah. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. So you wanna a yeah. comrade. No. Co- eh? Lead, leadership. Hey, leadership. Hey, leadership. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting into that space. Um, I love media, of course. Of course, yeah. But I am so excited to use my... My skills, my accounting skills. Right, right. Right. And just my brilliance in that area as well and grow in that. You so know? there's no there's no, you know, mindset that says, Hey, it's a little tough in this industry. I might as well fall back on that. Oh, for sure. That's obviously one of the reasons why I also yeah. got a nine to five because yeah. the kind of career that I have in the media space, like you're hot now and it's You're <laughs> gone. Dude. And then after that it's like, Oh guys, you know, you were asking me now, how are the voice of I'm like, I don't give voice of a gigs and bots. And that was so crazy for you. You don't me. even know like what happens like you're not the it girl for yeah, a particular yeah, thing yeah. you know like, do you feel do you feel like you're still the it girl it girl ooh uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay let's hear it Ria <laughs> I just think that uh, I have grown in my craft yeah and I think people are appreciating that I like that yes we got some Instagram questions oh, goodness from me. <laughs> Your people needed to know a few things about you. All right, sure. So let's so. get let's start with the juicy ones. Oh, All right, sure. and shout out That's to. That's a great way to start. You yeah. know what? <laughs> Stop it, <laughs> Laura underscore lottering. Is she married? No, I'm not. <laughs> Can someone tell that man to do something about it? You know, <laughs> I'm saying it right here on air. You better be listening. <laughs> Can you do something, <laughs> brother man, brother man? How long you How long you been in a relationship anyway? I'm not working. For as long as I've been happy. <laughs> as long as you've been happy, but you would really, really want to be married, right? Because uh, to not me, like, you, not like really, really. Of course, yeah, yeah. I really want to be happy, you know. And, and I marriage want would make you happy. You. Marriage would be an extension of my happiness. I really believe in family. And I believe in partnership. I love being with somebody. And I love the idea of building something more than just me. And, you know, I just... Can what else do you like doing with somebody? Out. What else do you like doing with somebody? Everything that a young, hot, 28-year-old mm. girl likes to do. All right. What else? Do you- <laughs> <laughs> We're moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> Gotta be careful. There's a question over here from Atang Mudiradilo. <laughs> Atang. I remember Atang from... from uh, just ask the question. I'm nervous. <laughs> Just go for it. Atang, thank you so much, man. You always come up with the juicy stuff. She asked Sadi a question like, who is she dating? No, no. And Sadi was like, Atang. Mm. <laughs> Atang wants to know. Okay. Can I have a recipe for your booty? Mm. So the topic right now and the subject now mm. is your booty. Let's just talk. Because when I put the flyer, <laughs> the brothers in my DMs couldn't breathe. <laughs> is there a recipe? Cause that booty <laughs> Woo! No one gets used to it From a young age No yeah. one gets used to it And I think people keep thinking It'll disappear It's not gonna disappear It's just gonna keep getting Bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> Y'all give me that All that um, I don't know what's the recipe, guys. I'm my mother's daughter. Of course. Yeah. 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 yeah that's the so recipe. it's like a family genetic thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and then the hips are from my dad's side. Oh yeah. Wide so. Man, has that, jeans. has that, so, so I also spoke to you, uh, yesterday about how people needed to know 
uh, if you've had your, you know, if you've had some work done on your booty. No. Right? Someone specifically asked, please ask her if she went to Turkey <laughs> <laughs> to have some work done on anything on her body. No, I haven't. One thing I've always said I'd like to do is to get like a tummy tuck or something because my tummy has always been big with uh, that. So that's the one thing I'd like to do, yeah. but I wouldn't want to do anything else. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The attention levels on your booty when you go out, when you're walking out it's in the mall. Boring. It's boring. It's boring. You. You know, because I remember this is one time in, and I'm, I know I'm getting a bit serious, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not nice to walk into a room and everyone's just looking at your booty and that's all they're looking at. Oh. Sometimes people don't even pay attention to what I am saying. Oh, you know, that's crazy. Right. So even now where I'm at as I'm rebranding, if you notice like the way I even dress now is I'm trying to cover up the booty. <laughs> I'm trying to cover up the body. Don't cover because up. I want you to listen to what I have to say because people apparently think I'm not smart. Yeah. They, they wonder, how is she getting these jobs? It's like, no, nah, I really am talented. <laughs> like, I really can do it, you know. Right. So I have to now cover up all the distractions. So, ah. yeah. And then I like that you just spoke about that you're really talented. And I believe that you're really talented. I've Thank d- you. you took my job in 2015, 2016. Which one was that? The orange uh, carpet thing. Yeah. Yeah, I hated you for that. I really <laughs> I did. You did. I really did. You didn't stop talking I, about I, it, and I, I loved how upfront you were about like, it. I was like, "This is an honest man." I was like, "Ria, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean." But I say that to say you were the better person. Yeah. And for I think people don't for get that. that. I think oh, people don't get that. There's, you know, appreciate. <laughs> what was that? No, I could keep it that Was I really the better person? Because I just think that it was a timing thing. Ah, there's also that. That was mine, and there was nothing that anyone else could oh, do. Yeah, it was mine. Yeah. And there are certain things that are just for Tegan. No, I can't do anything to take the juice from you. Do you? Do you? Do you go around? Do you? Do you go by life thinking that way? Does that? Does that help you thinking? You know what? If I don't get it, it's not mine. If I get it, it was mine. Lela. <laughs> I cry and I'm mad. I'm like, oh, why? Oh. You know, and maybe sometimes like. <laughs> you know, like I will doubt the other person, like really, right? Because we're creatives, we're competitive. Yeah. You know, we think we should get everything that definitely, we hope for, definitely, definitely. But then we're not in control. God is in control, and God knows the best time. I mean, like this year has been my absolute most amazing in terms of like MC work. Yeah. And there were years I never had one MC gig, and I was just like, "Can't what's wrong? You start doubting yourself, yeah." Oh, and yeah. then now it's like, "Oh, oh, okay." It's like floodgates. It's just a timing thing, and when it's your time, it's your time. I like that. Speaking yeah. of this year, man, what are you really celebrating when you say that? What what MC gigs that oh. are like the most biggest highlights of your I life host, this year? I I literally posted on my Instagram bio that I'm an international MC. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I hosted the Dubai Expo 2020. Dude. And I saw the pictures, bro. Yeah, it was crazy That's to see myself yeah. in that space. Right, right. Was too much for me. Like I still go back to look at those pictures to remind myself of what God can do and what persistence can do. Yeah, you yeah, know. I mean, yeah. had I given up the year, I didn't get an MC. Wouldn't have. Wouldn't have. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and just how things happen, you know, I didn't have to talk to somebody, I didn't have to do anything, you know, yeah. people literally said, these are the people we want. I don't know who chose, Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, yeah. that is a testament to say, look, Rhea, when it's your time and it's your turn, it will be. You I don't need that. to talk to anyone, sleep with anyone. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Also, there's that, there's that rumor and there's that, you know. What is that though? What rumor? <laughs> do people think I sleep around to get jobs? Is that what they think? So there's a question why over people, here. people, like, why am I not getting good rumors? <laughs> Someone was like, how does she get her gigs, right? Does she sleep around for, does she sleep her way up the ladder? I find And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not too sure if I should even ask this question. Yeah. You know, but because you just say that, you don't sleep around. Is that something that you even want to address? That is like so disrespectful. I, I find right. that disrespectful right. in this day and age. For any woman, even if I was doing it, what yeah. is it to you? Do you know what I oh, mean? Yeah. Like, what is it to you if I wanted to But have to you heard it? that though for yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I mean, and I've, I've had advancements to say, hey, baby gal, I can do this you, for you. You could, you could be up. I could, you know. And like I had I had an offer A huge offer in 2016 And I'm glad it didn't happen Because the very next year 
the thing that he wanted to offer me, I got it without having to do anything. So Jeez, it man. just takes longer and it'll happen. But that's my choice. Yeah, yeah. Another yeah. woman who chooses I'm gonna sleep with somebody, that's what they want to do, and I'm for it. Do you boo? Do you boo boo? Yeah, because guys <laughs> also bribe people to get gigs. So why am I not gonna use what I have oh, yeah. you don't have? That's a different have. way to look at it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, so this one here, uh, let's see, let's see. Hashtag, no, no, not hashtag. Wawa underscore the underscore desirable. Yeah. Yes. Where do you want to see yourself in the next coming years and what inspires you? A bit of a serious question. Yes. We'll get to the juicy ones. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so next few years and what really inspires you? What inspires me, I think... I hope this comes out right. Yeah. But anyway, people are always judging. <laughs> but... My own track record inspires me. Like um, how far I've gone. Yeah. I mean, just this week I was so emotional seeing how resilient I've been in a situation that would have crushed me. That's inspirational to me. Like, oh, oh my yeah. gosh, I look what you did. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. you can do it. My mom inspires me. My grandmother inspires me. My dad inspired me. Right. These are people that, you know, they come from nothing, yeah. you know, particularly with my dad. My mom, it's not really from nothing, but like it was a little bit better off than my dad's upbringing and having to see my dad work so hard mm. um, you know my mom as well I was telling my friends that I'm gonna start walking to work you know uh, for the next coming of, of weeks and they're like what how are you gonna do that are you really I'm like yeah my mom can do it I can do you it, can she, do was it doing yeah. it she was building a house wow. and there are certain things that I also want to get into certain investment that I want to get and I want to start Cutting off my cost And if I, it's walking Is what I'm going to do I'm going to do it I like that I So like that. that's what inspires me Where do I see myself For the next few years You know Definitely Being Yeah the juice 2.0 Yo my gosh I would love <laughs> To be a mom Oh nice I'd love to hey, be Hey yo brother man Hold on Hold on <laughs> Hey yo brother man Come on man you know? I aspire to be <laughs> My boyfriend's husband, wife, sorry. That's dope. Husband. That's, that's <laughs> I'd like to be his wife. <sighs> hello. Man, hello <laughs> from the other side. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd love to be someone's wife. I'd love to be a mom. Yeah. Uh, and I'd love to be qualified in ACA as ah, well. Nice. Fully qualified. Right, uh, right. Being a child accountant. Yeah. And I would love, there's this dream that I've been having this past few weeks mm -hmm. and I really see myself hosting international events. Dope. I see myself being called from Botswana to say, hey, come moderate come this. Come fly over. Come yeah. here, you know. Right, I right. see myself having great conversations um, on big networks yeah, yeah. with presidents and kings and yeah. huge profile people. Right, right. So yeah, that's I'm excited. Dude, I hope all of that happens for you. You get called out out of this country to go host someplace. I hope you get married. I hope you get baby. Babies. But are you having enough sex to, to make, you know? I really am. <laughs> <laughs> My mother called me this week. She's like, Rhea, are you having good sex? Good, you need yeah. to make sure you're having good sex. I'm like, mother, are you seriously saying that? Like, it's important. As a health professional, I need to tell you. God bless your mom, your man. And I'm like, okay. And then I told him and he was just like, okay. we. Are, um, hey, let's get in there. You got this encouragement, dude. <laughs> There's a question over here. You're crazy. <laughs> but I like the way you were so genuine about it. And it was like, I am. I am. I was like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> so, wise men, wise men underscore Tatayone says, I want to know her age. I'm 28. 28. Yeah. Oh, man. Almost at the big 30s. You know, come to the 30s. The 30s is beautiful. No. No? I'm right here where I am. Yeah. This thing of constantly us like hoping for like 30 and 40. I'm here. I'm 20 I like years that. where we are. I like are. that actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because I read The Power of Now. You know, mm. beautiful book. I too. Ooh. Yeah. Mind blowing. I need to reread it again. I need to reread it. Just too I've, much. I've been, you know, you and I. Yeah. Uh, Fred. If it wasn't for your girl, you know that. I guess. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Born, you're that side, eh? Up this side. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> uh -uh. Which one? Fred underscore rapport. Okay. <laughs> Says, is she dating? If not, what's her ideal man? Uh, okay, so then I don't get to do, to answer because I can't, I'm dating. You're dating. So the, the second part of that. Really? If is, not. Is, <laughs> if not, what's her... <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Yeah. I like an honest man. Yeah, hey, but I, I appreciate that. Yeah. 
um, I like somebody who likes to listen to me because oh, yeah. yeah. I like someone like my partner, Shem. That man is like so calm. Like he's yeah. but it's like I love it. It's like yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Also, remind me of Marang cuz you know, she said the same thing. Yes. She's like I'm over here yeah, and, and my man yeah. you know, chilled. Yeah. All right. The last time, the last time I don't you know why these people like radios. <laughs> <laughs> How did she become popular? Is a question that we got from Laura underscore Lottery. Hi, guys. How did you become the popular? Other time somebody asked, "Can they wear now, man?" So, <laughs> Google that. <laughs> Go Google it. <laughs> Yo, guys, because I think sometimes the way somebody asks a question, it's quite condescending. Like, who, who uh, are you? Who do you think you are? Like, right, right, no, right. No, no, no. You're not going to come to me like that. You know, Man. you can just do your research. 840. <laughs> like, just go Google it. <laughs> 840 is your time on the Juice 2.0. Uh, conversations that are so amazing. Beautiful conversations. And I like this about, about I'm always going to say this about creatives, mm-hmm. but most importantly, people that are in the media space that are presenters like you and I. Yeah. A conversation with you and I is, is, is just like, you know, it's, it's chilled, which is why a co-host job between you and I would be such a great, I would only co-host with you on a podcast. Oh, yeah. Not, I don't want the rules. Yeah. But if you come to the podcast, podcast, though. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, but if you come, though. No. You know what, though? Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. I have this amazing podcast idea. Mm -hmm. I told my friend about it. Mm -hmm. It's called BBW. BBW? Yeah. Bad B Worldwide. Right? So, like, just like... All of that. <laughs> he's getting he's, excited. He's getting ideas. He's like, getting, yeah. so, but then I wanted to do it. And then now I'm telling you guys that so then I can't do it. So I, w- I would have to change my voice so people don't know that it's me because ah. of the kind of things I would be saying. Because people just don't. So it's not video just, recorded. They look at me and they think, sweet <laughs> angel. And I'm like, but you know you're far from that. <laughs> <laughs> you but, And I also feel like There's certain conversations That just need to be had right. And I feel like Women need to be liberated Like what? No I'm not gonna do that <laughs> I'm not gonna do that You're not gonna do it? No Like how women sometimes Fake their orgasms? What? Do, what? Do you, who does that? Some women Why would you do that? You never done that? I don't even understand Why am I having this question? <laughs> 842 is your turn <laughs> On the juice 2.0 <laughs> From Party Engage Road on the Juice 2.0, we get juicy and juicy year. I got Ria in the building. What's happening, mommy? I'm good. Yeah. I just feel like I'm gonna be in trouble. For what? <sighs> For the things that we're talking about yeah, here? Yeah, because I'm the get puppet too much, you know? Mm-hmm. And you know, like, I have no filter, Kanana. And we love that about you. We love that about you. <laughs> it's not so great. I mean, hey. I don't know what I'm doing. You know these Kalanga niggas. <laughs> oh, you do this Kalanga? Sweetie. That's where I be. That's where I be. That's where I want to be. Woo-cha. So your ideal man is an honest guy, calm, <laughs> and from the Kalanga yes, land. Yes, Googling him. Let's <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. Honest, calm, Kalanga, possibly dark-skinned. <laughs> He's so dark-skinned. Hey, hey, you, yeah. like the, you like them chocolate, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah? That's okay. <laughs> Look at you blushing all the way. <laughs> now that 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 person is a perfect. Have you actually human being. have you actually been with a skin uh, light skin person before? Never. Never. Mm. Okay. So if yeah. anyone says I've been with him, please. <laughs> like, I've not been with you, my brother. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> only registered dark skin kalanga, and you know, yeah. I have no exes. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. no one can come and say I've dated. Like, what do you mean? So what are these Kalanga brothers doing that we need to do, man, to be able to score a Riyahile type of girl? Like, what is... What's going on down there? I can't make it since I'm not going to Hey. Okay. Hey. Okay. We're not consistent. Okay. Uh-huh. I can't get a second. I did my little child. I'm going to go to the king. I think you're abusing my brother. It's like just... I know. I'm like... You know people when they see us together, they're like... That's also good. <laughs> no. That's just the no. vibe. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. But Ria, 
Let's talk about because we don't have a lot of time. Yes. And I hate this. This show, this part of the show should be too. Look two at hours. me getting all comfortable. It should be. You know what I mean? We're just getting comfortable right now. But let's talk about how how you have your own production yeah. company. Yeah. At 28 years old. Yeah. Mutsuana woman. Yeah. Jeez, man. Uh, it's always been a dream of mine to yeah. own what I do. Right, right. So. You know, I mean, before coming here, I had Rayon Line that I started off with my phone. Yeah. And then we collaborated with Torch Studios. Right. And then I think the season... Actually, you know, with Rana, we haven't even done full production on Issei Media. But uh-huh. now, as Issei Media, we are doing other productions from yeah. sports shows to other talk shows that yeah. don't have to deal with me. Yeah. Um, it's important for me to empower other young people. Uh, I feel like Issei Media is a safe space for creatives. Mm-hmm. Um, I am blessed to be a creative and also... I don't know. I don't. I don't think I'm an analytical person, but uh-huh. I'm a mathematical person yeah. and a bit logical. So, creatives, the the ones that I've worked with, they're just not like that. So, I feel like when you come to say media, you're, you know, the way you think is changed, the way you course, work is changed. A bit of, of professionalism, you know, a lot of these things that, you know, creatives don't really care about because that's just who they are. Yeah, um, yeah. So, I love that. It's purposeful for that reason that other people are helped in their gifting so that we can package mm. them well. And that, you know, there is a leader who is a young woman. Right, right, Which right. then allows for other young women to come in. And just, yeah. Yeah, but yo, it hasn't been easy running your own production company. Yeah. Leading young men, leading creatives. Of course, oh, of my course. gosh, leading young women. Sometimes the pressure is high there, huh? I actually was telling my friend that I want to go for leadership skills. Ah. I need to go for leadership skills. I need to go for emotional intelligence training yeah, because yeah, yeah. I think those are my current weaknesses and I just like, it's not working. And yeah. I, now that like I, not now, but being in nine to fives and stuff, you can tell. you Because I'm aware of my weaknesses. I right. can tell other people's weaknesses. Ah. That, like, leadership is such a... It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, thing. Ha- you need to, yeah. Yeah, you need to, it's, a, it's, a, it's a work in progress I like all that. the time. So, I like that. yeah, that, I, that's you say media. I just, I just really love that for you because, like you said, owning your own thing, oh, owning yeah. what you do is the most important thing. And, yeah. And to be able to say... Look, at the end of the day, right? You want to really, really be the one at the top of everything that you do. Because there's some peace there. There's some comfort there. There's some, you know, so flexibility. that's what I wanted when I started. Yeah. But now, uh, we're in the process of sharing the company ah. with the team. So, I won't be like of course. the boss yeah, and all yeah, of that. Like, yeah. we will be bosses. Right. So, I've learned that it's better for you to have... 1% of a, of 10 million mm. than 100% of a million. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that my team is incredible and the ideas that they have and what they bring so different from me. And I think that we we can yeah. do so much more together and not just with them answering to me. Yeah. So I'm, I'm in the space of wanting to collaborate and working with people, wanting to learn and, and yeah, That's because dope. I think we could do so much more. Sharing, yeah. sharing, sharing uh, gold, sharing benefits, sharing yeah. all of that. Yeah. Uh, have you ever had to share anything in life? Let's start with like a room, maybe at school. If, why are you looking at me like that? This is such a j- <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> I think you sharing. I think you share a room with my brother. Oh. <laughs> you have siblings? Yes, I have many siblings. How many? I have a grown young woman. How many? With young siblings. How many? I have a 20 year old brother. I have a 16 year old sister. Wow. I have like, okay, the other guys, I love y'all, but yo, how old are you guys? <laughs> 10, 9, 8, I think. Those are the three. So I have like That's five big younger family. siblings. Yeah. It's a big family. From different families. My parents divorced and remarried, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. When, did they, when did they divorce and got back together? <laughs> Oh, re- oh, remarried to other different people. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I was like, re- okay, remarried. Okay. I was like, oh, yeah, English. It means uh, other people. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> How many of you just did that on air? I, I know. Um, they they uh, divorced from 2000. It was a long one. Yeah. From 2000 until 2004. That's when it was finalized. Jeez, man. And then the first one got remarried like shortly after that. My dad did not waste time. <laughs> Give a girl 
time to yeah. process things. Do, My goodness. You know, I watch a lot of movies, but you right? You know, these men, they just don't think we have feelings. Most men. Well, some men, not most men. Some Generally, men. you guys are like that. It's just something we have to work uh, yeah. You know, you, mm-hmm. you got to come play over this side, you know? It's different over here. This is why I'm not liked. Mm. This is why I'm not liked. Do you see why? And it's not me. Do you see? <laughs> come over here. Right here. Yeah, anyway. So <laughs> that's that, that. Does that affect you in any way? We're about to wrap up. Does My parents do, divorced? Yeah. Oh yeah, to this day. Ever feel like, you to know, this you, you want to get married? Ever feel like, oh my God, it didn't work out for my parents. Could it possibly be the same fate for me I'm at some point? I'm definitely more prayerful. Uh, about it, and yeah. that's why I'm not rushing it. That's why, that's why, like you asked, girl, me, we just we, we I'm like, I you're not rushing it. You look, it's it's just really not doing it yet. Don't talk about I'm not rushing it. <laughs> you know, you could have been married last week, a year a year ago. <laughs> talking about I'm not rushing it. You know, Kalanga hasn't said anything yet, and, and we just what pray. do you know? Uh, Touche. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> but my parents' divorce really, really did a number on me. Yeah. To this day, I'm still working on um, a lot of things. Yeah. I had to deal with a lot of like just feelings of not being wanted. Right, you know, just right. feel like I'm not wanted, I'm not ah. loved, like rejection. Right. And then like now as I'm a young adult, anytime I feel rejection from like work or friends or anything or just like I can get into a room and feel like, oh my gosh, these people don't like me. Like, where do I get that? You know? And so that's because that whole divorce just made me feel like no one wants me because uh, everybody then went to remarry that people. Yeah. And it's like, I'm just there like, okay guys, Shucks, you have man. like no sense of belonging. Right, right, right. So it's been a lot of things and I honestly, I'm going for therapy. Yeah. I'm always going for therapy every year. Oh, dope. But I don't think that, I don't think it's a bad thing to say, but yeah. I just don't think that I will really like be hundred percent healed. Oh yeah. I think that this is my journey and what I've been given yeah. for a lifetime. And right. that's why it's important for me to constantly look at the progress, but also not really be focused on working on myself. Ah, yeah, I get that. I because get that. What if what if it's never gonna end? Yeah. So like and that's where I'm at now. I'm I'm like, look, I'm gonna enjoy my life. I'm gonna yeah. be aware of what got me to be where I am and who I am right, and right. what how this has impacted me. Yeah. Um good and bad. I mean like that made me want to focus on myself. Right, right, right. The divorce because right, yeah. I was like, no one really cares for me. So I better do me. Yeah. Yeah. I so like that's that. I'm I'm resilient. So those are the good benefits. But there were also bad stuff. Of course, so of course. it's just like being aware and being grateful for that experience. Yeah. Yeah. And but means- now I get like two blessings. They don't know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so like when they were upset with one another Master, we sign him. Yeah. You can my deal. I'm poor. I know how problem. You smart, smart. You smart, smart. Look, kill two birds. Look, I'm not gonna cry twice. Of Y'all course. made me cry once. <laughs> this time, I'm winning. What's the What's the biggest misconception out there about you? Ooh, I don't know. You tell me. I I don't know. I don't. I no, sh- you would have to tell me. What do you think? Kim, do you know anything? I don't. Not nothing. Yeah. So maybe there I just isn't. Think that it's probably just silly rumors, but nothing. People, people definitely think I come from a well-off family, and uh-huh. that things were handed over to me. People yeah. think that uh, there was one time somebody said that, like, do you do drugs? Like, because my energy was so high. Are you serious? Like, in the mornings, yes. Um, just like, do you do drugs? Yeah, like like a person will just walk up to you. And- yeah, right here in the studio. Someone who works here. <laughs> <laughs> Your very friend. <laughs> My very friend? Yeah. Ooh, who are you yeah. talking about? No. <laughs> Those are, yeah. And look what I think people think that Kerata Dilo in a gay bona. That one has always been a thing. Like from primary. Yeah. But that's just pretty much your confidence in, you know. Yes. So. It's it's still something it's I'm, just, I'm just like, yo, guys, struggling with. Yeah. It's just like, guys. You are, who you are. you are who you are. You are who you are. Hey, and I can help you. Come here. Man. <laughs> <laughs> come to <laughs> Ria, look at the time, man. I'm so sad about this. What last words do you have? Do you have any last words? Anything you want to say? Uh, yeah. Any last words? <laughs> anything you got going on in your life as well? Uh, um, anything I got going on in a very serious note, Ria. Be serious. <laughs> okay. Or not serious. Oh Just, my you know, goodness, hey. my earring even fell off. This is what happens. Um, I don't know. I think what I'd just like to say is that people should look out for... 
I don't want to say something. I'm in a space where I'm really focusing on myself yeah, and yeah. my being. Yeah. And I'm not too brandy and I'm not too like, ah, oh my God. Yeah. I'm doing this. I'm doing like, I'm living. I've noticed. I'm living. I've actually noticed. I might share with you. I might not. Yeah. I might want to do this. I might not. I might tell you I'm going to do it and then I might not. So I am living. That's a whole lot of maturity uh, yeah. going on for you there. Yeah. So yeah. I'm in a different different space when it comes to my media stuff. Of course, but one yeah. thing I, I I I will let you know is yeah, yeah, and I'm living my best life. I like that. Yeah. And that's the best way to live your yeah. life. The best way to live your life. Listen, listen. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> so much to talk about. You know I what I suggest? Bad. You know what I suggest though? You know what I suggest though? Come to the podcast. No. At I can come point. to the podcast if you change my audio levels and then I put on a mask. Like nah, I can be ghost lady. Nah. Please. We're not doing that. Can I, okay, let's do a podcast and I'm ghost lady. Even though I'm saying now, they won't really know if it's me. But let's do that. All right, we can do that. Great. You heard? All yeah. right, yeah, let's do that. What's we'll up? take we we'll take it up for one episode. Yes. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Yeah. I know you. I know you've been curving me about this interview. You're like, yeah. are you TK? Yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. But finally, you see, it wasn't even that bad. No, I just need to make sure I'm not gonna think about it all day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I'm gonna watch it. Oh, you should. No. You should. Come on. No, I'll watch it after like 10 years or something. <laughs> You're going to look good, that's for sure. But thank you so much, TK. Yeah. This has been fun. I love it. Light. Yeah. It doesn't really feel like I came for like an interview. Yeah, I know. I know. That's yeah. what we try to do here. Yeah. So that's cool. Chill thank and just you. talk about life. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then... Umonyale, uh, TK. Umonyale, you're boring me. All you ever do is trend on t- TikTok with your cute little videos. You know, and that's oh the... My. God. And it's just like, guy, marry her. We're bored. It's not cute watching you guys as they <laughs> marry the girl. Monale. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's, it's the oh, Lord for me. Why are you so dramatic? <laughs> Ria, I love you so much. God bless you. God bless everything you're going to do in the future. And God bless your family. And hey, Unyale. Unyale. Wambor. Unyale. Kalangaland coming through. You're on the Juice 2 point. I'm about to rap up. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.